Two city marshals from Marksville, Louisiana, are being held tonight, each on $1 million bond. They're charged with murder in the shooting death of a six-year-old boy, the son of a man they were pursuing. David Begno on a case that the state police chief calls the most disturbing thing he's ever seen. CBS News has learned that video from a police officer's body camera appears to show Christopher Few with his hands in the air before investigators say he was shot at 18 times by Deputy Ward Marshals Norris Greenhouse Jr. and Derek Stafford. We're Mike Edmondson is head of the Louisiana State Police. So you don't know at this point why those two marshals wanted to pursue that man in the first place? We do not know that. We're going to find out. That's the car. They've been shot up. What investigators say they do know is that on Tuesday night, November 3rd, at roughly 9.20 p.m., Chris Few was driving in a white SUV with his six-year-old son, Jeremy Martis, in the front seat. They were being pursued by the deputy marshals. Few came to a dead end and tried to back up. That's when investigators say the deputy marshals started shooting. Few, still inside his vehicle, put his hands in the air, according to our source. Chief Edmondson has seen the footage from the police body camera. Does it look like Christopher Few was trying to use that vehicle as a weapon to hurt those officers? It, n nothing tells us any of that right now. All we saw was the vehicle backing up. All we saw was a gunfire. Jeremy Martis, who had autism, was hit by five bullets in the head and chest. He died at the scene. His father was also shot and is still in the hospital in fair condition. Officers, did you guys intend to kill that father and son? The deputy marshals turned themselves in Friday night. Doug Anderson is the Avoyles Parish Sheriff. This is a small community. Everybody knows everybody, and it's a tragic situation, and everybody is paying the price. Six-year-old Jeremy was buried today in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. The few family attorney says Chris, too injured to attend the funeral, has not yet been told his son was killed. The deputy marshals have not yet entered a plea. We reached out to their attorneys tonight, but have not yet gotten a call back. Scott, as for a motive, we can confirm tonight investigators are probing whether one of the deputy marshals had a personal grudge against Christopher Few. David Begno for us tonight. David, thank you.